Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math Lessons. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we are going over the property of numbers being relatively prime. Two numbers are relatively prime to each other if they have no common factor, no positive common factor, I should say, other than one. And we're talking about integers. Integers are relatively prime to each other if they have no common factors other than one. So for example, let's look at four. What factors does 4 have? 4 has factors 1, 2, and 4. Those are the only three factors that 4 has. And then if we look at a number like, say, 15, the only factors 15 has are 1, 3, and 5. So you can see they have no numbers in common, no factors in common, besides 1. And therefore, 4 is relatively prime to 15. And this means, as well as, you know, several other things, but you could write it like this. The greatest common divisor, GCD, of 4 and 15 is 1. You can see that here. These are the three numbers that divide 4. These are the three numbers that divide 15. Their greatest common divisor, the largest number that divides both of them, is 1. So the GCD of 4 and 15 is 1. This also means that their least common multiple would be the product of the 2, which is 60. So the, the smallest number that both 4 and 15 go into is 60, because it's their product. To, uh, to recap that, if two numbers are relatively prime, A and B, if two numbers A, B are relatively prime, which is sometimes written like this, A, um, the perpendicular sign, B, this is sometimes used to denote A is relatively prime to B. So if this is the case, then the least common multiple of A and B, written like this, is guaranteed to be their product. A, B. So if A and B are relatively prime, their least common multiple is their product. Additionally, you see relatively prime numbers and you sort of create them when you're trying to reduce a fraction. If we have a fraction like 90, let me just sort of section this off, fraction like 90 divided by 100, well these numbers are not relatively prime because 10 divides both numbers. They both have a common factor, or excuse me, they have a common factor greater than 1, which is 10. So if we divide them both by 10, reducing the fraction, we get 9 divided by 10. And now neither of these numbers are prime. 9 has factors 1, 3, and 9. 10 is also not prime. It's got factors 1, 2, 5, and 10. But because they have no common factors other than 1, they are relatively prime, and therefore this fraction is fully reduced. Some fun properties of relatively prime numbers are that 1 and negative 1 are the only numbers that are relatively prime to every other integer. I should say they're the only integers relatively prime to every integer. 1 and any other integer will have no common factor greater than 1, of course. And also, 1 and negative 1 are the only integers that are relatively prime to 0, because 1 and 0 have no common factor greater than 1, because of course 1 is the only factor of 1. And same thing with negative 1, and we're talking about positive factors when we're discussing um, relatively prime numbers and the factors that might define a number to be relatively prime. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. Just to recap, two numbers are relatively prime, like we see here, if their greatest common factor is 1. The numbers themselves don't have to be prime, but if they have no common factor greater than 1, then they are relatively prime to each other. Also, if you have two prime integers, they are always relatively prime, of course, because each one has no factor other than itself and 1. So if you have two uh, distinct prime integers, they have to be relatively prime. So that's what rel relatively prime means, which uh, 
you also call them mutually prime or co-prime. Those are names that are also used. I'll slap that at the beginning of the video too, just uh, so if anyone clicks on this trying to learn about those, they know that that's what I'm talking about. In any event, I hope this helped you understand what relatively prime numbers are and, uh, you know, a couple fun properties of them, a little bit of explanation, some fun notation if you haven't seen this before. Um, cool notation. That's greatest common divisor. That's least common multiple. You put your two numbers and this says the greatest common divisor, 450 is one. So in any event, I hope this video helped you understand. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe to the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all. It makes sense.